know? Yeah, like, I, I am afraid. Like, I'm afraid I'm going to lose him, and I'm also afraid that, that I'm going to actually lose him, you know? Like, I just, he's not, I just, I don't understand. Okay. So it's not just a matter of losing your friend, it's uh, losing your friendship. It's you're afraid of, of, of him losing his life. It's that, it's, it's, got, it's gotten to the point where it's that serious. So you seem like distracted or something. What is going on? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty distracted. And I mean, I'm pretty angry, realistically. I mean, like my mom keeps on freaking calling me like four times a day. Uh, she can't deal with like the bills. She can't deal with her dogs. She can't deal with like my brothers and sisters. I just feel like these are things that she should be able to deal with, and I, not me. It's not. It's not my job. And I'm here like trying to do school, you know, trying to do the best that I can. And there's so many distractions, you know, here on campus, let alone like you know having to deal with stuff from home. Like yeah, like I'm a little embarrassed too because you know I have to answer these phone calls from my mom, you know, three, four times a day in front of like my friends, in front of my classmates, and you know I sound I sound like a dick. Like I, I don't I sound like I sound like an ass because I'm trying to talk to my mom and you know get her to understand that this is not something I can do right now, and she just doesn't get it. It seems like you are worried about what's going on at home with your mom, torn, you know on picking up the phone and being in front of your friends and being embarrassed, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it, it also seems like you're pretty angry and um, you feel almost lost on how to balance college and home. Are those things kind of accurate? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I hear that. Yeah. Yeah. I hear that you also, you know, you have a need for dependability. You want to be able to depend on your institution yes. to provide you with, oh my God. with an adequate professor to teach the, the, the capstone course. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, I hear all of those thank things. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So now all we have to do is figure out how we can meet those needs. Coming back from being abroad, I really realized that my major isn't for me, and I don't like it anymore. I thought I was good at history. I thought I was good at the classes. I was getting great grades, and um, that was fine until I realized that I really don't like it. Um, there were classes abroad that I liked um, in different areas of study that I never really considered before, and it's very scary because I've invested so much time um, into the major so far taken a lot of classes and not a lot elsewhere um, and I'm really scared because a lot of people will want you to finish in four years and that's sort of an expectation and my parents will say no like stick to your major stick with it um, and it's difficult because I really hate it and I don't know what to do um, I don't really like the classes they're boring they're, they're not very stimulating so I just I'm freaking out because it's junior year and things are getting to the grind. So I'm hearing that you have a need for passion. Um, I'm hearing that you have a need for efficiency. I'm hearing that you have a need for affordability. And I'm hearing that you have a need for direction. Is that right? 